So this is my uh, crazy new box. And let's take the lid off. Because here is a filthy iPad. And underneath is a BT router. Here you can see its uh, connectivity is left exposed. I've made some connectors so hopefully I can run the router on this VLOG. This is a 15mm pin that I can put on so I can mount this in the vehicle. Turning on the iPad. There we go. The Ethernet cable will be attached to the USB-C of this which is an iPad Pro. That's the Cat5 cable going into the iPad. Have a look at the settings. Wi-Fi is off. The router, you can tell it's got some power. It'll go through a series of things until it starts flashing purple, which is saying that it's not connected to the external internet, which is exactly what we'd expect. Now I know th the router's IP address uh, from reading the manual is this, so I've typed it into the web browser. Let's give the router a minute to open up and see if we can see some. So the router software has come to life and what we can see is that it can see the iPad. So now I'm going to uh, get the Canon C200 play. So here's the Canon C200 which I've just switched on and I've got that yellow Ethernet cable going to the router which is mounted behind the iPad and what I'm looking for is for it to pop up on this list which it hasn't at this point so let's have a, a little look through the menu on the Canon so this is the one that the bit of the menu that refers to this Ethernet business. So let's. You can only change any of the settings when browser remote is off. So let's have a look. Activate is off. Ah, okay. So here is popped up. The connection setting is one, which is named C200, and that is Ethernet. Good bit of autofocus from the R6 here. So let's go back and change this to browser remote. And the camera is still not on this list. So I'm going to unplug everything and wobble all the leads. worth noting this little light here uh, which has just gone green so if you're fooling around with this C200 trying to get it to talk to the internet cable be aware that there's a light there and it's just gone green but still not showing on the software on this router so Try refreshing it. Ah, so there it is. Port 2 has popped up with a question mark. And what we've got here is 192.168.1.147, which is a different number that you see in the manual. It's 1.1.7. So if we go here, and I've typed it in to the browser, 1.7 and we'll just refresh that ah so now it's coming up it's asking for the password of the camera which I've got on a sticker so the name of my camera is currently Sam This 
looking good. My um, Windows Millennium system worked faster than this. So this please wait icon on the web page has been here for a couple of minutes now. I'm going to try and refresh it, I think. May slow everything down, or... Yeah, honestly. Here we go. Browser remote. Please wait. So, from the title of the web page, we can see... Must be talking to the camera. So, from the, the title of the web page, we can see... Ah! Ha! 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 Look at that! So, I can hit live view. Is it so slow I hit it twice? Here we go, look at this. This is incredible. I'm going to wrap the ISO up on the camera. There it is, live view. Hopelessly slow. So we can see the focus mode there. This is actually very good. So I can actually change my focus area. Oh, it's useless, isn't it? Change my focus area. Yep, we saw it refocused. I don't know why it's saying red, it's just saying I can't focus that close. I mean, back to this background. So, this is actually amazing that we've got a an ability to change focus. Can we do um, ND somewhere? Live view shot. Ah, so let's just. Can't record because it hasn't got a camera in, but I could record. Can we do ND? In exposure. Okay. So screen's gone black. But yes, you can change the ND. Hear it going there. So if this camera was up on a crane connected like this, you could do some pretty pretty impressive stuff